My race is starting. Which battery is charged? Is it, is it this one I already put on here, or was it one of these three? Oh, I, I can't remember. <laughs> Today we're taking a look at this power adapter here. This can act as a quick battery check. It can also take a power source such as a battery or some other kind of uh, voltage input and output stuff to charge batteries with or to run other chargers or charge your phone through the USB port. Well, this thing is called is made by Archer Lance. I guess something like that but it comes in a package that looks like this and if I open this up you guys have this is not a new concept they've had uh, another company called uh, Strix <laughs> Strix I'm like murdering the name Strix makes one that's similar to this basically this takes a 3s to 6s input here and then it outputs to the three different uh, power sources here now the Strix one Strix one whatever you call it looks like this and they're about the same size, it's just that this one has all the little pieces are built inside the frame to give it a little bit more protection. So here's the Arch Lance and the Styrix next to each other. You can see the Arch Lance one is a little bit bigger. If you hold this down here, it makes it a little bit larger, but if you count the uh, battery counter sticking out, this one's a little bit taller. They're both about the same width, but on the thickness side, this, this one has the top plate here is all smooth all the way across, whereas this one has the voltmeter and the uh, buzzer up here and then this piece over here also sticking up above the top plate. Now I haven't had any problems with this breaking but this button did break off one time and it had to be re-soldered back on there. This one has the buttons are built in a little bit better and they're down below the surface and so they just have these long buttons so when you click them it's actually pushing the button clear down there and so that helps give a little bit more protection and it doesn't give you quite the chance to bust these off. Now the one nice thing that I've always liked about using these at the races is that you can take your uh, any kind of battery, like a 6S battery here for example, just plug it in and you immediately have the voltage. And you can't read it very well because it's red. But it says 22.9. So immediately I know this battery is low. I can grab this one, plug it in, 19.4. Okay, that's a little bit low for a 6S. Must have drained it kind of hard. And here's one more, it's 25.2. Uh, yeah, there you can kind of see it. 25.2 voltage. So I know immediately that this one is the battery that I should be using at the race, just because of the quick plug, and you're done. Quick plug, and you're done. Quick hit there. So it works real well. Like I said, if you want to plug this in, you can plug a USB cable in here and charge your phone off of your um, 6S battery. Anyway, the nice thing about this is that you can has a lot of different functions you can pull off of this. You can uh, run this off of, uh, power off of this to power your TV monitor or your goggles and you're going to get uh, low voltage alarms coming off of your battery. Now if you're going to power something, I wouldn't recommend using these 1250s. I'd recommend something like a 5000 or a 4000 just so you get a lot more power out of it. So when you have this plugged in, to set your low voltage alarm, you can you only have these four choices here, but you hold down the volt button and it starts beeping and then you can click through them like this, find the one you want, hold it down again, and there it is. On here it has these 3S, 4S, 5S, and 6S buttons, and you have to hold down the cell button and tell it which kind of battery you have, and that way it knows how to set the low voltage alarm. So if I put it down here on 3S, and then I check the battery output voltage, then uh, coming out of here, 25.1. So it is reading, it's not, this um, output is not regulated by which cell voltage you use here. It's just outputting full voltage out of this battery coming in. So you want to make sure that you choose the proper cell here so that your low voltage alarm goes off when it's supposed to. Now when it's low, this middle button here, there's a little uh, red LED will go off and the alarm will sound like uh, this. Then get a little red light comes on and starts flashing. INL, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but, or input low maybe, I guess that might be what it means. But anyway, so this is what it looks like when the low voltage alarm is coming on. Now if I change the cell over to a 4S, well, there's no more low voltage alarm. So if we if I replug this in, it thinks everything is nice and cool. So you have to be careful of that. If you're actually going to use this for splitting your power, they actually set the cell voltage correctly. 
The Strix here doesn't have a way to specify which kind of battery you have. So there's no way to tell this that, that I have a 6 to hooked up to it. So in this case, even though it says 3.4, this is probably assuming that because it's so low that this is probably a 5 cell. So the bad thing about using this is that it would go ahead and power up your devices and run them up until it just drains everything out of your 6S battery. So even if I hold down this little button here, uh, it's on 3.4 now, but uh, if I change it to like 3.5, 3.6, or 3.7, it doesn't really do any good because... I think you just let go of this one. You don't have to set it. But it doesn't do any good because this one already thinks that you have a 5S. So it's going to run this 6S battery down enough that you are going to have problems because you over discharged your 6 cell. This one you could run into problems by not setting the cell volt, the cell number correctly. But if assuming that you do get it set correctly, it'll save it from power cycles. So that way, hopefully, if you always use the same battery, you should never over discharge them. At least not without getting the alarm going off. One way you can give constant power to this is by using an old laptop adapter, laptop power supply like this one. Now if you look closely you can see, maybe you can't see, but this is a 19.5 volt output, which means that once it's plugged in, I can plug it into this and it will get 19 volts of power. So I took the end of this power supply and I cut it off and I added on an XT60 connector like this and if I plug it in, lo and behold, look at that, 19.6 volts coming out of it. 19.5 is what the cord is rated for, so seeing 19.6 is close enough. Now in this case, since I just have a power supply plugged into this, the voltage that I'm using down here, or the, the battery cell count doesn't really matter, neither does the cell voltage because it's just going to stay on as long as the power is on. So to hook up to a generator or to a power outlet at a race. So this is a little power hub from Arch Lance. Like I said, the most, most of the time what I use this for is just for a quick check. I can check to see if the battery's charged. If the battery's already on my quad, I can usually get it squeezed in here to where I can read it, get it plugged in, and then you know get it to where I can read it. That way I don't have to pull the battery off of my uh, the quad to check it. And also when I'm at the races, it gives me a good opportunity to check it, put it down. Now I know that this quad is ready to go for the next race. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, leave them down in the comments. I'll have some links to this down in the description. And as always, thank you for watching.